Hey guys, in this video I've got a little bit of information about uh, what butcher and dexter steers is like, kind of what weights you can expect for your carcass weights and a little bit of prep work we do uh, to get the, the steers ready to actually bring, load up and bring to the butcher. Basically, if I look back at the last dozen or so dexters I brought, I think our average hang weight's been around 330 to 345 pounds. Uh, we've had them, um, the heaviest was 440, and I think the smallest I had on there was 265 pounds. And we generally bring all our, our, our steers, our Dexter steers anyway, right at that 30 month uh, age. So I think you could kind of expect, depending on the genetics, the line, the different things you have with your Dexters, I think somewhere around 350 is a pretty, pretty good starting point for an estimate of what a uh, hot carcass weight might be on your Dexter steers. Now on these two in particular, uh, let me just show you the clip. Right before I was loading them up, I, I threw down a guess at what I thought their weights were gonna be. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll reveal what, what the weights actually were and see how close I was uh, or how far I was. If I had to guess, looking at these guys on the hoof, I think they're gonna be under 400, but uh, I'll bet you they both hang within 20 pounds of each other and they're I'm gonna say uh, 360 is what my guess would be. Yeah, so these two guys are going to uh, the processor in the morning. And so, uh, like you saw the other day, I separated them into here by themselves. Uh, now what I've got is I've got the trailer set up, which you can see right here. And uh, I got a little bit of alfalfa cubes in it. Try to get them warmed up to the trailer. So that in the morning they're at least curious enough to get close and i can swing this gate and uh trap them in here and pull these little guys off to the uh to the processor these are two 100 grass-fed steers these are uh the last of those dexters i had Let's see uh see if we can get one of them to go in the trailer start us off usually once one goes it's pretty easy I'm not even going to push them today. I just want to see if they'll come in here on their own. That way in the morning it's super low stress. And uh, I just dump a little bit of a little bit of alfalfa in there and they walk right in and we're off to the processor, low stress. Let the other guy come. be first this is a step I think uh, you really don't want to skip if you're new to handling cattle or if you just want to minimize the amount of stress is uh, introducing them to the trailer and getting them used to loading into it before you get to the morning of butchering and you have no choice but to use a lot of force with the cattle it stresses them out and it'll stress you out and ultimately you can end up missing your uh, your butcher date yeah, that's kind of last step, uh, getting them used. I really don't like to get too forceful with the cows on anything. I mean, every once in a while you have to, but if you can uh, do it as low stress as possible, that's definitely always the best, uh, the best thing you can do. So I didn't shoot any video the morning of loading these two steers. Uh, it was still dark when I loaded them. But I really didn't have any trouble. They had gone in the trailer uh, the two days prior. So they were used to getting loaded into the trailer. So I went in there. I dumped a handful of those uh, alfalfa cubes. And they loaded right up and brought them to the butcher without any issue. So I just got off the phone with the butcher. And uh, you know I said those two steers were going to be within 20 pounds of each other. And so right around that 360 pound mark. The steers were actually within two pounds of each other. We had one was 344 pounds and the other one was 346. So I kind of wish they were a little bit bigger, but I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, these were not some of our bigger steers, so I didn't think they were going to be that 400 plus. Uh, but these are kind of the last of the purebred steers we have. But moving forward, we're going to have either the Hereford Dexter crosses or the South Pole Hereford crosses or I've got those two pure South Pole steers. So 
I think our hanging weights are going to get a little bit bigger. You know, I'd like to be more around that 500 pound mark, but I guess we'll just see how it evolves and, uh, you know, how our animals do. So anyway, hope this is helpful. And if you guys can give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. It helps a lot. Take care. Bye.